how to locate a lost object or shape in Excel. I was doing a webinar last night about some Excel oddities, and I was talking about Home, Find and Select, the Selection pane. I had run into a friend who had a spreadsheet with exactly three shapes on it. And very slowly, this spreadsheet became insanely slow. So I went down to check it out. And what had been happening is someone at that company is once a day had been copying the entire sheet and pasting it. And when they did that, the three shapes on the sheet on day two became six shapes. And then the next day, nine shapes. And then 12 shapes. By the time I got there, it was true. If you scrolled just one row, it took minutes. It was impossible to work with. And when I went to home, find and select, selection pane, I realized that there were over 1,400 shapes on the sheet. And simply by clicking hide all, uh, the thing became very snappy and responsive again. And then came the question for today's video. Ken, just today he said, I've lost my slicer. I have a spreadsheet and somewhere on the spreadsheet is a slicer, but it's not in view. He said, even if you have uh, the selection here, how can you bring that back into view? And so the first thing that I thought of, let's scroll way, way out here. Okay, so at this point, I now have the cell pointer somewhere and I can't see it anymore. To bring the cell pointer back into view, you would press control backspace, right? Just a beautiful trick. So I said, well, okay, let's see if Microsoft is consistent and just came out here and selected something. Home, find and select, uh, the selection pane. I can select that text box, any object, by clicking on it. Uh, but if I press control backspace, it doesn't bring it back into view. I tried right click, there's nothing there. I tried double click, that just allows me to rename it. Uh, that doesn't work, right? But what is absolutely amazing and thanks to Lou, who was in the audience at the webinar. Uh, Lou said, try this, Just click on it to select it. And then instead of control backspace, press F2. <laughs> F2, you've got to be kidding me. Why F2? F2 is usually edit. Mm -hmm. And I knew that I had the exact same problem. I have this very wide spreadsheet that you've seen me talk about before. Uh, that I use to solve Wordle each day. It goes out to column SDC, over 12,000 columns. And I know that somewhere in here, there is an image, but I've lost that image. So let's try it. Home, find and select, selection pane. There's the picture, picture three. Uh, to bring that back into view, thanks to Lou, we press F2. <laughs> there it is, all right, in column B, J, B. And now, finally, it has gone away. The other really useful item under Home, Find and Select is the Select Objects tool, which allows you to select many objects just by drawing a box around them and then very easy to delete them all at once. Well, this was going to be a simple little podcast talking about F2, but we also talked about formatting a drawing shape and then setting the auto shape defaults from the right click menu. Right click the shape in the gallery and choose lock drawing mode. And then you can create many shapes just by clicking. If your worksheet becomes super slow, check the selection pane to see how many shapes you have. With 1400 shapes, Excel becomes very slow, but you can use hide all to make it fast again. When the active cell is scrolled out of view, control backspace brings it back. If you've lost a shape, select it in the selection pane and then F2 to bring it into view. One of my Excel guru patches to Lou for knowing that awesome F2 trick. I want to thank Ken for sending that question in. And I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast. Mr. Excel. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below.